Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back with a couple of new mods for you today. Now, I won't be covering a large variety of mods in this video, but I will be going over a couple of my favourite ones. Now, as much as it pains me to say it, Fallout 4's base game doesn't have a lot of weapons, hence the thousands of possible weapon mods on the Nexus. But of those, I'm going to show you one that really piqued my interest and that I really enjoyed. Now, I'm sure you've all heard of this mod, but it's the Russian Assault Pack. This is going to add five new weapons to the level list, as well as one craftable outfit. Taking a look at the weapons real quick, we have the Sketchkin APS Machine Pistol, the MP4 12 Rex Revolver, the PP-19 Bison Submachine Gun, the Saga-12 Shotgun, and finally the SVD Dragonov Sniper Rifle. And of course we have the Special Forces Fatigues. To be honest, the mod author could have released this as five separate mods, and I still would have downloaded them. They just feel so unique, they each have their own personality. Going over the pistol first is a seriously powerful weapon, especially if you take the explosive rounds modification, which I have. If you like to play sneaky, stealth-like characters as I do, you're gonna love this weapon. It's small, compact, and really packs a punch. I mean, look at it. It really looks like it can do some damage. Now, taking a really quick look at this weapon in the workbench, we can see it has all of the standard upgrades you'd expect to see for a pistol, such as the receiver, the grip, the suppressor, and also a fairly generous amount of sights. Now, taking a look at the revolver, this very quickly became one of my favorite weapons to use. The combination of high damage, high accuracy, but with the low fire rate, low mag, made for some really interesting gameplay. Now, when I say high damage, I actually mean high damage. You hit an enemy in the face with this, they're going away. And nine times out of 10, their body is just going to explode. None of that ragdolling across the room effect. As you can imagine, this weapon too looks fantastic. And again, has the same sort of upgrades you'd expect from a pistol, as well as some pretty neat skins. Now, moving on to the third weapon of this mod, we have the SMG. Now, this weapon is really unique compared to the others. The previous two weapons, though made really well, are still your basic pistols. This weapon features a new animation that I haven't seen in other weapons before. That, of course, being the reload animation. Most SMG or assault rifle type weapons that I see all have a very similar reload animation, so it's refreshing to see a new weapon with a brand new take on this. Again, taking a really quick look at this weapon in the workbench, we can see all of the options available, and everything looks like what we've come to expect at this point. Now, I have to say, I really enjoy this weapon. I don't know what it is about it, but it feels so different compared to other weapon mods I've tried. Maybe it's the reload animation. Maybe it's the way it moves when you run. I don't know. Now moving on to the shotgun, this to me didn't really feel like a shotgun, instead it felt more like an assault rifle. I mean, it even looks like one. This again is capable of some serious damage, depending on what upgrades you put on the weapon. For example, in this clip I'm using the explosive round modification. This upgrade alone is insane. I mean, the weapon on its own already did a large amount of damage. But with this modification, it just takes it up to 11. It hits harder than most rifles you find. This could be considered to be a bit overpowered, but it's so fun. Just try not to be in the blast when you shoot an enemy. Now, taking a really quick look at the modifications available on this weapon, everything is as we can expect from a mod of this quality. Now, like I said, this weapon is powerful, like, you don't even have to hit your enemy, as long as you hit a surface close to the enemy, then it's lights out for them. And finally, that brings us on to the last weapon of this mod, the sniper rifle. Carrying on with the themes of the other weapons, this, with the right modifications, can do some serious damage. Especially if you land a crit, which you will because this is a sniper. I mean, even if you don't, that enemy is still going to feel that shot. Again, just like all the other weapons, I'm taking the explosive rounds modification. Simply because I don't want my enemies to stand a chance. I know that it's kind of counterintuitive to put an explosive round mod on a sniper. The idea of a sniper is to be sneaky, not to blow everything up, but the extra damage, it's just too tempting. 
Again, we'll take a look at the modifications really quickly, as I'm sure you're all tired of me saying it for the 50 millionth time. I'm noticing that there's a very clear theme with these weapons, that being that they're very fun to use, also that they're very powerful, granted only if you have the mods to do so. And finally, that brings us on to the outfit that comes with this mod, which is the Special Forces Fatigues. Now, this is a fantastic outfit, and the attention to detail is uncanny. It looks brilliant both from the front and from the back. Now, by default, this armor is going to give you 28 ballistic resistance, 25 energy resistance, and 2 agility. And of course it comes in a choice of 8 different colours. This can be changed at any time by visiting an armour workbench. Now speaking of armour workbenches, this outfit has a couple of options. Simply put, it has one cosmetic option and one modification, and its own specially designed weave option. And finally, to get your hands on these weapons and outfit, you can simply go to any chem station and craft them. All in all, I'd have to say, this is definitely one of my favourite weapon mods. How many other weapon mods are there that offer 5 weapons to such a high quality? I mean, I've downloaded mods that couldn't even execute one weapon to the quality of these, so to have 5 in 1 is something that I'm totally down with. Now, the weapons might come across a bit overpowered, and if that's how you feel, then just don't put the maximum upgrades on them, it's that simple. Personally, I like them the way they are, powerful and fun. The next mod I want to talk about is Legendary Modification. Now if you've ever wanted that dream legendary but just couldn't find it, then this is the mod you're going to want. Simply put, this mod is going to allow you to attach a legendary to any weapon, apparel, armour or even power armour. Basically, if an item can have a legendary, this mod will allow you to put one there. Now this might sound a bit overpowered and based on which option you choose when installing this mod, it very much can be. Now to actually apply one of these effects to an item, you're going to require something called an effect chip. You can acquire these simply by scrapping legendary items. This being the case, I'd be really careful when it comes to scrapping things. Nobody wants to scrap that legendary weapon they were planning on using. Now that you've acquired a few effect chips, you can start to actually think about applying legendary effects to your items. The effect chips themselves can be found in your junk tab. Each effect will have its own material requirement as well as its own effect chip requirement Better legendaries require more effect chips, and lesser used effects have less effect chip requirements. Now, this mod actually has five different options that you can choose from upon installing. This just happens to be the one that I installed and the one that I like to use. So feel free to mess around with the other ones to find the one that you like. And that's going to conclude the mods for today's video. I'm sorry that I didn't cover that many mods in this video, but I'm going to try my best to do even more in the next video. So until then, I just want to say thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.